Well, in continuation, now that the uh, the base coat, the base color is all nice and dry, we're going to go ahead and jump on the next step, which is we're going to be applying um, a wash. Now, in this model, this is going to be real easy. We're just going to take this Agrax Earthshade and spread it um, all over. Now, I've watched uh, lots of videos on how to paint Space Wolves and... Um, uh, when I first learned how to do these, uh, again, I, everything I knew I learned from from watching at first, and then I learned from you know practicing and, and learning and doing more. Um, what they would have you do is uh, apply the fang first, so you have this, okay, and then to apply uh, rust gray all over the model, and then we're gonna put the wash in. Um, I, I used to do it that way. I'm actually happier going about it um, in a little bit different order. Instead of base coat then layer, then wash, we're gonna reverse these two. We're gonna do the base coat, then we're gonna put the shade, the Agrax Earth shade, the wash over the model, and then we're gonna come in and add some layers to it. Um, what I found the way I was doing it before was that I was coloring all the model and then the wash, yes, while it went into the recesses, it made it look a little bit grungy, this works better. Uh, why don't I back up though really quickly and explain what do I actually mean when I say um, a shade or a wash. Well, uh, this, and I explained it in the video about paint, but I, I should probably talk about it a little bit more. Um, Citadel makes a great line of shades. They're the only shades I use, the only washes I use. And the reason for that is I've just never found another company who makes them um, the way I like. Uh, Citadel, say what you want about the rest of their products. This is certainly one they make well. Um, the most all-purpose shade is this uh, shade called Agrax Earth Shade. Uh, Null Oil, which uh, this is brown. Null Oil is black. Those two are all-purpose. Uh, you can use them for lots of models. Um, in this case, we're going to use Agrax Earth Shade. You could use Null Oil if you wanted to. Just comes down to uh, to preference. But what is the job of this? Well, um, I, I've had friends of mine say to me, "Wow, how do you make that model look really detailed?" And I'm thinking to myself. Man, I'm, I'm not an artist. I'm not very good. I haven't been doing this very long. In fact, I'm not a very good painter. I'm not doing a lot of detail. This is doing it for me. What this does is this is a really, really thin paint. Okay, It's concentrated. There's a lot of pigment in it, but it's really thin. So what this is going to do is we're going to wash it over the model. And all the little recesses, it's going to fall into the recesses. It's going to slide over the flat parts and into the recesses. And what it's going to do is it's going to add shadows to all of those recesses. It's going to give this model depth. Now, this is another situation where you could add this shade and you could stop and do nothing else. But this... I've heard people call Agrax Earthshade talent in a bottle. I can't disagree. It is fantastic, and it works really well. Um, so a couple things when we're using um, a shade. We're going to get a regular palette. As you can tell, I've used this one a lot, but hey, guess what? These are what, 50 cents? Um, we're going to use a regular palette. I'm not going to use a wet palette for this. Um, I do not want to water my Agrax Earthshade down at all. Um, I, there are situations where I've seen that people like to use um, a thinner medium for this. I'm not going to. I'm going to straight use this stuff right out of the bottle. This is another situation where we can grab um, a paintbrush we don't care about so much. Um, one that we're certainly not trying to uh, trying to care about or use. So I'm just going to grab you know any random paintbrush. I'm going to take a little bit of this stuff. Now, by the way, shake it. Now, again, I told you I don't have a lot in this bottle. But what you want to do is you want to make sure when you shake it, all the pigment gets off there, okay? We want it shake, shake it really, really good. All right, so open it up. We're gonna dip our, dip our brush into the top here, okay? That's kinda hard to see. We're gonna take a little bit here. All right, take a little bit here, and I'm gonna add it straight down to my palette. Now, one thing, when I'm working with Agrax Earthshade or any of the Citadel washes, I am going to now close this once I get some out of here. Now, I wouldn't be that anal with the other paints, but, um, by the way, this is my Agrax Earth Shade right here. What I, what I, the reason I'm going to close that bottle is, like I said, I've spilled it more times than I'd like to admit. So I'm going to take this model. Now, there's two ways to go about this. The first way is we could concentrate just into little recesses. 
look, I'm going to cover most of this model with a layer paint. So I might load the paintbrush up and I'm just going to push it in there. Push and push. Get it, get a good amount in there, push it in there, and really move it into all those little recesses. See what I'm doing? Kind of moving it in there. I'm not trying to be neat. Now, you don't want it, if it starts pooling and starts getting a lot, okay, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll clean up as we go. But I'm going to take this and I'm really going to push it into every little spot, every little place in this model. You can already tell just by looking at it. See the depth that comes in? Now this gloss, this shine is going to go away. But you're going to see how it's going to stay in all those recesses. Now, don't worry about being neat. Just get it. Every spot that you're going to keep blue, work this in. Work it in. I need a little bit more because, again, I'm using a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm not worried about being neat. I'm just trying to get it into all of the spaces. Okay, again, all those little parts. The hand, all the little parts that have any detail up here, all through there. Trying to work it in. Now again, you this is going to run off the flat parts and stick into any part that has a ridge or a recess. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is give it an opportunity to do that. We want it to stick in all those little recesses. I'm going to go ahead and just keep on doing this. This is how you apply a wash to a model. Simple. This is the easiest step. Seriously, absolute easiest step. It will drastically change how your models look in the end by simply adding a wash. Just to recap, Agrax Earthshade, load it up on your brush, get a lot in there, and put it in this situation everywhere you want to end up being gray later. Or excuse me, being blue later. Again, do I care if I get it on, on parts that I'm not going to keep that color? Like right there, do I care that it goes there? Nah. It's thin. It's not going to muck up the model. If you get it in places I don't want, no big deal. Now, one other thing I'll tell you when I'm painting. I go, I clean up as I go. I go from messier to neater as I go. So that first step when I was, when I was base coating, I didn't care how neat I was. Here, I don't care how neat I am. The next step, you know, I'm going to care a little bit more. I'm going to care a little bit more, and I'm going to care a little bit more as I go. Guys, look, I'm going ahead and doing the second one. Real easy, okay? Um, I want to I want to neat, get neater and neater. Because one thing about painting miniatures that um, isn't exactly glaringly obvious if you've never done it before is painting miniatures... Every once in a while, when you're doing something like this, okay, I freehanded some of that stuff. As you can tell, I'm not great at freehanding, but I freehanded some of that stuff. Yes, there is a little bit of freehanding. Yes, there's color theory and blah, blah, blah. There's all that really fancy artistic stuff. For the most part, what we are doing when we are painting these models is we are layering paints on top of the model itself in other words, the model is doing all the work for me. I'm not I'm not painting. This is not Bob Ross, okay? Love the guy. Um, we had a running joke that uh, Bob Ross didn't die. He ascended body and soul into heaven. Uh, and it was interesting that it was an atheist that told me that. Um, <laughs> and I can't say I disagree. But, you know, this is not, you know, drawing. This is not, you know creating something this is layering paint over a three-dimensional object the model itself is what has all of these dimensions it's what has all of these ridges it's where all of the look of the model is already there i'm not doing anything but adding layers thin layers of paint into the model itself 
The model is going to do all the work for me. If all I do is control how much paint I put into this model, it will do all the work for me. Again, that one's done. I'm going to go ahead, wash the third one with the exact same thing, and you will see how this works. Now, the last thing I'm going to tell you about when using a shade, um, you always want to make sure your paints are dry before you move on to the next, the next step. That sounds like common sense, right? Yes, of course. One thing I'll tell you about this. I'm putting a lot of it on this model. I'm really putting a lot on this model. It's going to take a little while to dry. When I do my wash, I always wait. This is a time that I'm going to do this when I know that I'm going to go take a break somewhere. In this case right now, I'm about to go eat dinner. And when I'm done eating dinner take the dog out, that sort of thing, I will come back and this model will be ready to go. The biggest issue you'll have with these washes, okay? If you put too much, whatever, you can fix it. The biggest issue you'll have is if you don't let it dry. If you don't let this dry completely, you're gonna throw the next layer of paint on there and you're gonna get upset at yourself because the next layer of paint is not going to cooperate with you. This paint is not as clearly visible as to when it's dry and when it isn't. So it's just something that I do. I give this like an hour. Again, I don't really time it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna leave it alone, and I'm gonna go get some food, I'm gonna eat dinner, take the dog out, have some time, uh, you know, take a little bit of time, and then when I come back, we're gonna do the next step. Once again, if you wanna go ahead and use the models once they're washed like this, be my guest. But that's how you apply a wash or a shade to a model. They have plenty of different shades. When we do models in the future, you're gonna notice I'm gonna use a shade or wash on every model I do. Sometimes it's Agrax Earth shade, sometimes it's non oil, sometimes we'll do it with green, sometimes we'll do it with other ones. Um, I'll show you some other models that we use and how this can make detail and do so much work for you just by doing that. There you go, we have it washed. The next step we're gonna do when we come back, we're gonna add um, some layers on, the to on top of it and you're gonna notice as we go, it's gonna start looking like something. In the meantime, enjoy. That is how you add a watch to a model.